Next, we'll create page navigation buttons. So to do that, I'm going to head to the B navigation master page and double left click to see them in here. I'll just zoom in so I can see them a little bit closer. And the reason why they're on the master page is because, well, if I put them on here, they'll appear on every document page and they'll serve the same purpose. Uh, the B at the bottom there, well, that is just a placeholder for the current page number. And we don't need to worry about that. If I hover over and left click on one of these, you'll see that when I drag them, they all move together. They've been grouped. They were literally just a rectangle and a couple of lines drawn to create those shapes all inside of InDesign. With that selected, that is all it is at the moment. It's just a, a grouped selection of some shapes. But if I go to the button and forms panel, click on the type drop down menu, I can tell that to become a button. And as with all things inside of InDesign button related, you must give them unique names. So that one's going to be previous to go to the previous page, of course. And then the event will be well on release or tap. So this is indicating that on the release of a left mouse button after a click or the tap of a touch screen, then it will do the following actions. And I can choose from here, go to previous page. There is only one real kind of option available in here in terms of what will happen when we do go to that page and that's the zoom. Do we want it to stay at the same zoom level or do we want it to choose one of the other options in here? I'm going to leave it set to inherit zoom. So when it jumps to that previous page, the zoom level will stay the same. Then underneath we have uh, appearances. So when the uh, interactive presentation opens up on screen, this button will appear exactly as it does here in the normal mode. But if I hover over and left click on rollover, I can then alter the appearance of this. I can hover over the group and double click on the rectangle to select just that. Go up to the fill menu at the top and then change this to say, for example, light green. Hit return. And then when I'm done, click back on the normal state. So it resets that button and it will appear like this when it loads up on screen. You can put a description inside of here. So for example, um, click here to go to previous page. And that would appear as a, a kind of a tool tip on screen. And you can leave the printable checkbox turned on if you wish to, but this is a screen presentation. So I'm going to leave it. It's not really got any impact to our presentation here. When I'm done, well, then you could go through all of that all over again, but quite simply, all we have to do is just, well, delete that one. Click on the first one, go to edit and choose copy, edit, paste in place. And if I just drag this down a little bit like so, and from here, well, I can then make sure that my reference point is set to the middle of the object. And I can click on the rotate 90 degrees button a couple of times to rotate it 180 degrees. So it's pointing in the right direction. Yes, it's got some of the attributes on here that we don't want. But first of all, if I go to name and choose and change that to next page, and then if I go to where it reads, go to previous page, I can remove that. It'll ask me if I want to OK that. Click back on the plus and this time choose go to next page. So I don't have to go through the process of defining the appearance of the normal and rollover states in there. I do need to just make sure that I change the previous tooltip in there to next page and click away. Now I can't go to the preview window in here and preview this because you can't preview a master page in this EPUB interactivity. But if I just minimize that, and say double left click on page one, then go to the preview. Make sure you click on stop first just to reset things and then click on play and that will start. And here you'll notice if I hover over, that shows me the rollover state for both of these. And I can hover over the go to next page and then it does nothing. So here's the thing, go down to the very bottom right hand side of the previewer and you'll see that it's only set to preview the current page. You'll have to click on set preview document mode. So it will allow you to essentially preview every page of the document, then click on play. Once it's refreshed, hover over the next button, click on that and it'll take you to the next page, hover over, it'll take you to the previous page. So that's how you can create page navigational buttons inside of InDesign. Put them on your master page, save time, Copy and duplicate the original button to get the opposite state if that's possible to save even more time.